What is going on you guys? Alex Chasen back here with a brand new video. Hopefully you're having a great day, afternoon, or night, wherever you guys are in this world. And what do the Chicago Bulls do? It has just been recently announced major breaking NBA news that Lonzo Ball will be missing the 2023-2024 NBA season. That would make it two full seasons Lonzo Ball has not played in an NBA game. It started off as a knee bruise, you know, a few weeks, he would come back, it turned into a torn meniscus, putting Lonzo Ball out for six to eight weeks. But we are almost two full seasons since Lonzo Ball has played an NBA game. In January of 2022, this all started, and we are almost in January of 2024, and Lonzo Ball has not returned on the NBA court. So in today's video, yes, I want to talk about Lonzo Ball, but I want to talk about the other side of this, the Chicago Bulls who have been stuck for years and not quite getting to that championship level they once were. Of course, back in the MJ days, which is a lot to live up to, something they'll never be able to recreate. But can they get back to a championship level team? Well, this news with Lonzo Ball makes it even harder and a really hard pill to swallow if you're a Bulls fan. Back in March of 2021, the Bulls were done rebuilding. They were done retooling. They wanted to start competing right away. They already traded away Jimmy Butler. They got rid of Derrick Rose. That era was already over. They started to rebuild. They started to look at things and assess their future, but they were done with that. They wanted to start competing by trading away Wendell Carter Jr., multiple first round picks, one of them turning into Franz Wagner for the Orlando Magic. And in return, they got Nikola Vucevic. Then in that off season in 2021, they traded for DeMar DeRozan, not having to give up much at all, just a 2025 first round pick. That's the most valuable asset in this entire trade. There were a few players in there like Al Farouk Aminu, but for a valuable asset, it was a 2025 first round pick, but we don't even know what that's going to be yet. Now, if that turns into something special, this will just be another failure on the Bulls part for maybe buying into a championship roster too soon. And then continuing in that same summer, they traded away now all-star, now one-time all-star, I should say, in Laurie Markkinen, just receiving Derek Jones Jr. in a few picks in compensation. And then in that same summer, they traded for Lonzo Ball. They traded for Daniel Tice, Javante Green, bringing in Troy Brown Jr. All these pieces that were part of that first seeded Chicago Bulls team for that first half of the 2021-2022 season. Let's not forget, the Chicago Bulls were sitting at 22-13 and 13 prior to Lonzo Ball going down with his knee injury. They were the first seed in the Eastern Conference. So I'm not really knocking what the Bulls achieved, but looking back on it, maybe they bought into trying to build for a championship just too soon. Now heading into the third season with Damar, Levine, and Vucevic, and I'll even throw Lonzo in there because he's technically part of this whole thing. They haven't won a championship. They were the first seed in the Eastern Conference for about half of the 21-22 season. But since then, since losing their true point guard in Lonzo Ball, not being able to replace him in any capable way, honestly, they really haven't been able to replace that true point guard role Lonzo Ball had for this team. They were doing so well for a reason because Lonzo Ball, when he was in New Orleans, that's where it really started to ramp up, not so much in LA at all. But in New Orleans, he became a very competent three-point shooter and then with the Bulls, for half of that season, one of the best in the entire NBA. He completely transformed his offensive game for being a overall point guard. Not just a fantastic passer and defender, but he could space the floor and shoot. And the Bulls lost that. And that really showed last season because they were doing some rotation of Caruso, Pat Bev towards the end, and Io DeSumo. This year, they got Javon Carter to come in and try to build some of that random tandem at point guard. But they still don't have an answer. And I don't believe waiting for Lonzo Ball to come back is the right answer because we don't know if he's going to come back. He's doing a cartilage transplant that no professional athlete has successfully come back from. In my opinion, the Bulls have one of two choices right now. One of them being trade Zach Levine. He's your most valuable asset on this roster. See what you can get for him right now at 28 years old while he's still ascending. Trade DeMar DeRozan. He's on an expiring contract, unrestricted free agent next offseason. Some team will want to take a flyer on him. Even if they're not confident he's going to resign, some team trying to boost their contention for a finals run or even a deep playoff run will make a move for DeMar DeRozan and give you some assets back and same thing applies for Nikola Vucevic who at this point in his career he didn't have a terrible season last year not what we're used to seeing but a very efficient shooting season and he played all 82 games so he's not aging in a bad way he's still healthy 
I just said, 82 games. That's so rare for an NBA player, and he did it. So he has some value to some NBA team. Trade three of those guys, one of those guys, two of them, whatever combination you want to do in Chicago. But you could do that if you want to rebuild. Because you just lost out on actually rebuilding. You had Lowry in your grasp. You had Wendell Carter Jr. in your grasp. Who knows if they really would have drafted Franz Wagner, or maybe they wouldn't would have gone a different route. Who knows? But they had Franz Wagner possibly in their grasp because that's what that draft pick turned into. Point being, they had young assets and they're all gone. And you're not getting them back. So you can either rebuild by trading away Zach, Damar, and Vucevic, or a combination of them and getting some assets in return, picks, young guys, whatever it may be, or you just keep them. Damar's a free agent next offseason. You re-sign him because you have to because he's one of your only chances to staying relevant. You keep Damar, you keep Zach, you keep Vucevic. You try to just build a solid bench because that's an issue right now in Chicago. Their bench is in. It's not that good. That's another issue. Their defense is great, but after they're starting five and a few good role players off the bench, they fall off pretty quick. In my opinion, the Bulls should go with the first thing. It's a tough choice to make, but Zach Levine still has a lot of value to him, to many teams. Same with DeMar and same with Vooch. And I believe going that route, really going full tank mode in my opinion, even maybe trading Patrick Williams and Kobe White, just a full reboot is what you need to do in Chicago. Because this core right now, it once looked like a finals run was maybe on the horizon with a healthy Lonzo Ball and all the other guys I just mentioned, but that's gone. Lonzo Ball may never play an NBA game again, and I would not rely on him coming back and being the Lonzo Ball he was in January of 2022 before his injury. So if I was in Chicago, I would trade all the guys right now that have some value and rebuild. So with that said, that is all I have for you guys today. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video and the Chicago Bulls have tough decisions to make coming into this season. Do they trade Zach Levine and All-Star, DeMar, Vooch? Do they make those tough decisions or do they keep them and just try to stay somewhat relevant in that play-in tournament? We shall see. I'll be back very, very soon with more NBA news and maybe, just maybe, we'll see a Bulls trade. And like always, peace out.